I'm at the house at 16011 Southampton Drive in the Wimbledon Park subdivision. I'm going to give you a 360 of the neighborhood here. Got lots of nice mature trees in the neighborhood. Lots of established homes here. This is an established neighborhood. We got some shopping a little bit uh, around the corner down the street there. And also we got a two car detached garage over there. So we got some nice tall trees up here in the front. Let's take a look inside this house. This is a four bedroom or it could be a three bedroom with an optional study. Uh, two and a half bath. Square footage is roughly 2,382 square feet. We got all brick exterior here in the front. Let's take a look inside. Now, as we're going to lay it out here to the left, let me point it there. That could be a study or a fourth bedroom. Straight back is going to be the living room, and around the corner is going to be the downstairs masters, and around the left, around the corner is going to be the kitchen area. All right, so let's start here in the front. Um, this again could be an optional fourth bedroom, could be an office or study. It's got the closet, it's got the, uh, of course, the ceiling fan and the window. So it's uh, it's your option which you want to use it for. If you're going to use it as an office, it's going to be great because it's at the front of the house, so you're away from all the tra uh, the noise from the rest of the house. We got nice neutral colors. We got dark laminate floors throughout most most of the first floor. Got a under the staircase uh, closet. Okay, there is a little step down here. Go into the living room. Large size living room. You got ceiling fans in most of the uh, bedrooms. Uh, you got a gas fireplace there. You got blinds throughout the house. And uh, let's head over to the right. We're going to go start with the masters here down downstairs. Again, there is a short step up there. So this is a good size masters, uh, roughly 18 feet uh, deep by about 12 feet across. So, uh, so you should be able to fit a king size bed and some uh, dressers, nightstands, especially if you put your bed along this wall, you should have lots of room to have a king size bed there, lamps, etc. Got a nice ceiling fan here. And then we have, uh, see a couple of entrances here to the, uh, Kind of wraps around both sides to the master bathroom. Here we have a nice um, tub shower combination, nice enclosure here. Pretty unique uh, tile. I'm gonna turn around here so you can see a little bit more. The uh, got two, I got dual sinks there, lots of cabinet space. You got some more storage area there. This also has two walk in closets, so you can kind of separate. Who gets what closet? About for the same size. Let's go to the other side here. Got lots of uh, different hanging spaces and shelves. And then this will be your, your commode. All right, so let me just, so you can see you got nice vanities. Uh, nice lighting, nice and bright over here. Okay, we're gonna head out. Again, this is the living room. Let me get a little bit closer look here. Got your fireplace, gas fireplace. This is a very large space. Definitely could fit some large couches, TVs, lots of room here. We have a little step up here. Now to the left there is a stairway up to the upstairs bedrooms. Here would be your formal dining area. You put your table here. You also got a wet bar, some more cabinet space. Over here we have the kitchen. You get nice neutral colors, tile floors, microwave oven and your regular oven. Got your nice tile backsplash, dual sinks, again some more cabinet space, and you got a flat top. 
uh, flat top cooktop there, flat top stove, and then your built-in dishwasher. And off to the left here, we have a utility area. Let me close a couple doors so you can see what we got here. Looks like the gas hookup for your dryer, washer and dryer hookups for electric. Again, more cabinet space. And then you have a half bath downstairs. Gonna head out to the, we got a detached two car garage with a garage door opener. Let's start over there. We'll start, we'll go there in a minute. Two car uh, detached. Has his own garage door opener. It's got an extended driveway up to this garage, so you could probably park another four cars outside of the garage. This is um, definitely a wide garage. You have no problem parking even a maybe a smaller boat or a large truck and still a second vehicle. Okay. This yard is a little bit uh, unique here. We got the uh, pergola here with some mesh on top of it, prevent the uh, needles from falling down here. It does back a building, but it kind of gives you a little bit of privacy there because you have like um, no one peering over the top of your uh, fence line. I mean, there are his windows, but those that's an office space and those windows are pretty high up, you can tell. Um, so you should have some pretty good privacy back here. Nice luscious yard. Again, this very unique, tall trees we have here. Very mature trees. Good amount of space here. Just walk a little bit back here and then it goes around the back of the garage there. All right, so let's head back inside the house. We're gonna head upstairs now to the other two bedrooms and we have a game room upstairs. Carpet looks to be in excellent condition. It may be uh, newly installed, I'm not quite sure, but it does look really, I uh, can't see any stains anywhere here. So at the top of the stairs, let's point this out. Okay, back here we have the hallway bath. We have uh, one of the bedrooms, the game room, of course, that I went uh, pointing through, and then this is another bedroom, third bedroom. Let's start here. This bedroom is roughly 17 feet by 16 feet. So it is a huge bedroom, it's roughly I would say it's uh, the size of a master's easily. Ceiling fan again, blinds, nice neutral colors, carpet is in fantastic condition. We got two closets here. I'll just show one of them. Uh, this one, well, let's show both of them. So there. This one looks like the access to the attic also. So you got some hanging space. And then let's show this one here. This one's slightly deeper. You have two closets. That's that should be pretty good space. All right, see if we can focus here. All right, now here in a game room. Very good size. Lots of shelving uh, counter space. This is perfect for your games, toys, etc. Get great game room. Now this bedroom is also a decent size. It's a 12 by 12, so it's a good size for a secondary bedroom. Again, you got ceiling fans, closet, and then this one also connects to the hallway bath. So you have uh, both entrances from the hallway and from this bedroom. You got that nice tile, again, the same as downstairs, tub and shower combination. Sink. and your commode. If you'd like more information about this home, please call the number on the ad. Listed with Liberty Management. Thank you.